the trans-South African Zimbabwe freight and oil train is Pretoria's first hit in this border trade war. Even as Prime Minister Mugabe was speaking, they delayed it for 24 hours for so-called custom scrutiny. So far, though, the road freighters have kept moving along the highways to Bight Bridge. That's the bridge that connects north with south. It's Africa's single most important trade artery, and if Mugabe closes this, he shuts it for his neighbors too. When an economic war has been declared against you, my dear friend, you accept it as such. You don't go crawling to those who are waging the war against you. You must fight back. All thought about luxury and comfort will have to go. Do you think that you're ever likely to get any more cooperation out of um, Margaret Thatcher? I've given her up, written her off as a bad case. She appears to be motivated by racism also. If we go for majority rule in South Africa, the blacks will be in power. That, I think, she cannot accept readily. The quickening hostility has panicked Zimbabwe's exporters. Tobacco is their most profitable export and farmers are forecasting a record crop. But they say that any doubts on delivery and international buyers will desert them and take the rival Brazilian leaf instead. There's an estimated 4 million tons of grain in the silos, but farmers have now been told by Pretoria that suddenly Durban can't handle it and they'll have to ship from Cape Town instead at extra cost. It means they'll sell at a loss. Fruit farmers are just as anxious. If we can't ship through South Africa, they say we can't ship at all and we may not even bother to harvest. Prime Minister Mugabe's threat to sever air links with South Africa could bankrupt his airline because Air Zimbabwe's routes to Durban and Johannesburg are the only ones that pay. There'll be losses both ways, but through its port, South Africa can reroute to African markets and explore for new ones. But Zimbabwe is landlocked with no practical alternatives to that bridge across the Limpopo and the port south. The Benguela railway across Angola is regularly blown up by Unita guerrillas. It can take two months or more for lorries to reach Kinshasa. The Tanzan railway to Dar es Salaam hasn't the capacity. Baira in Mozambique is near derelict. And the rail link to Maputo is constantly attacked by anti-government rebels. Tonight, South African companies have warned that they might stop their road freighters going north for fear they'll be impounded. And they're waiting for assurances of safe passage. Michael Nicholson, News at 10, South Africa. The Zulu